New this midday, a passenger train in Lee Summit crashes into a truck. The scene is cleared. The train continues and hits another vehicle. Lindsay Shively joins us live where the first crash happened in Lee Summit with the latest. Good morning, Lindsay. Hey, good morning, Krista. And this crash happened about 8 o'clock this morning when a pickup truck came through this intersection, even though these safety gates were down. Take a look at this. This is the grill of the truck, just from the impact of the train hitting it, it flying off. But then a few hours after this accident, the train was finally cleared from this scene and kept heading west to or east towards St. Louis. And take a look. It hits a car at Centerview, Missouri. Fortunately, we're hearing the injuries there were really not that serious. There were no injuries. That is not the same story here. This is another look at this pickup truck that was trying to cross this intersection. The impact from the train splitting the truck completely in half. There's the front half. Take a look. Sky Tracker gives you a better view of what the back half of this looks like. Several feet away from this truck. The driver flown several feet out of this truck as well from the impact. Miraculously, the driver we hear did survive. He has serious injuries. He's in the intensive care unit with some broken bones and really bad head injuries, but he is expected to live. Now, when this train saw this truck about to come through, it's a passenger train headed to St. Louis. The conductor and some of the passengers saw everything that happened. And even though they wanted to stop, they just couldn't stop, which is why those safety gates are there in the first place. For him, it's a tragic um, scenario for him because he's got to deal with his injuries and such and, and what may come from it. But if we just follow those safety procedures um, and the precautions here of the guard rows being down, this never would have happened. And purely preventable. Nobody on the train was injured. The train itself wasn't damaged in this accident. Again, this is the truck that tried to cross this intersection about 8 o'clock this morning. The driver now dealing with very serious injuries, but is expected to live and recover. We're live in Lee Summit. Lindsay Shively, NBC Action News.